I'm Dr. Mark Dodson. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Alexandria, Louisiana. We're going to show today a trigger thumb release. What will be interesting about this procedure is the patient will be wide awake. She will only have local anesthesia for this procedure. Uh, this makes it quite easy on the patient, uh, does not sedate them, and uh, also enables us to make sure that the thumb is completely released uh, because she is wide awake and we can ask her to flex and extend her thumb. This is a surgery for a patient uh, who had a trigger thumb, and this is a little different variation on uh, the surgery because she is wide awake. We've done this only through local. Right now, she, you just saw her flexing, extending her thumb, and that clicking and popping was the triggering. That is where the flexor tendon gets hung up or locked in uh, a pulley, and the surgery is to eliminate that pulley. So this is the use of a uh, exsanguinating tourniquet called a Hemoclear. Uh, the device we're rolling it over is to aid in removal. We placed it just a little proximal to the wrist so it would be less painful for her and not cause too much ischemia or, or uh, restrict the blood flow, but allow us to do the surgery. We've marked where our incision will be between those two dots, and now we're going to make our incision. It's a transverse incision right in a flex increase so it will not uh, scar very much. Actually, if you look down into her palm, uh, in the center of the palm is an old uh, uh, carpal tunnel uh, surgery that we did that has healed quite well. I'm now just spreading the soft tissues. Uh, on either side of the flexor tendon sheath are nerves and arteries. And we're putting these retractors in right here so that we do not uh, cut or injure those nerves or arteries. We're still continuing just to clean the tissue off of the tendon sheath. We're kind of moving it up and down again so that we do not injure uh, those nerves or arteries. Kind of holding the thumb back to kind of keep our incision open. We're going to add a different retractor here so that we can really get very good exposure of that tendon sheath and then we're going to bring a knife in and we're going to make a little cut in the tendon sheath and once we've got that open we're going to introduce our scissors and we're going to move it up and then we're going to move it down and that will completely release that pulley it's called the a1 pulley there's basically three pulleys in the thumb and those help uh, rest uh, restrict or hold down the tendon when you're flexing and extending. Again, this patient is wide awake while we're doing this. We've only used local and she is not having any difficulties uh, tolerating this procedure. And now you can see as she bends it, no clicking and popping. So this is, uh, this is wide awake anesthesia. This patient gets to help us participate in this procedure and we get to make sure it's completely released. Now we're going to grab the tendon here and we're going to pull it so that you can see it's completely freed from any restraining structures. Again, just no popping and clicking. This is just a little fluid just to irrigate and clean the thumb just drying a little bit. And you can see again, we've been doing this whole procedure. There's been no bleeding. Our tourniquet has worked very, very well. And uh, we're putting in a nylon suture and uh, this is a vertical mattress stitch. We don't really tie them too tight. We want those edges just to come together and touch, but not be under tension. Uh, the tension will tend to uh, cause a little more scarring and maybe a little bit more pain uh, for the patient. Um, we're going to put in a second stitch here. Uh, you really don't need a lot of stitches for uh, hand surgery. Uh, just again, you just want just that, just those edges to touch. And if they touch with, uh, without a stitch in, then that's, uh, that is just fine. Um, and uh, once they heal, they'll be just as strong as the one areas where there were stitches. So 
we're tying this second one here. We use uh, square knots. Uh, if you can kind of see the way that's uh, put in. And we'll cut it and then we'll put in one more here. And then that'll be all. Uh, you can see this surgery uh, just took just a few minutes to do. Uh, we were very, uh, uh, it was easily exposed. There were no problems uh, finding the nerve or the tendons or the arteries. We were able to track those out of the way, uh, cut the tendon sheath, and uh, release those pulleys. All while the patient, uh, again, she's wide awake. There's no uh, problem with her tolerating the tourniquet or even the procedure. She did not experience uh, any pain, uh, so she was uh, quite comfortable. And with no uh, anesthesia, uh, she did have someone drive her home, but uh, she could have driven herself home after this uh, particular surgery. Okay, that's the end of it. Thank you. Uh, I'm Dr. Mark Dodds. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in uh, uh, Alexandria, Louisiana. And that was a trigger thumb release. Thank you.